Today, we let an imperialism decide which NBA podcast has the best hoopers. As y'all see, I have this very high definition map of America with podcasts on it ranging from Gills Arena to Mind of the Game to the Draymond Show. Some people had to join forces just so that the teams could be even. We know that Draymond has his own show and Shaq has his own show, so I had to join them together as one team. I put Jeff Teague and Paul George together because they spent time in Indiana with each other, so that's just natural. And the rest of these squads actually have podcasts together. Now, how this is going to work? We're going to spin the wheel to see which podcast is going to be attacking. Then we'll spin the arrow to see which way they'll attack. Those two teams will verse each other in a 2v2 up to 5. Whoever comes out on top will take the loser podcast land and we'll complete this process over and over until we have one winner finding out which NBA podcast truly has the best hoopers. Starting things off, the first podcast attacking will be Draymond and Shaq down low in Texas. And they will end up heading northeast. We're going to use that little part of Texas to go up against. Against Quentin Richardson and Darius Miles, the knuckleheads. So I'm expecting this to be an absolute blowout. I mean, you got all time Draymond and Shaq on the same team versus 270 overall role players. It's got to be straight domination. 1 0, Shaq with the dunk gets the steal off the rip. They already going stupid on him. Oh my goodness. 2 0, the knuckleheads is going to have to get on the board. They run a little pick and roll. It doesn't work out as Draymond gets the block, turns around, misses the layup. Knuckleheads with the ball. I see Darius Miles got the dunk logo by his name. If he's able to somehow dunk on Shaq, pass it down low to Q Rich. Q Rich with the three-point logo by his name, body and Draymond though for the easy lay. So that means that he could shoot, Darius could dunk. They got to use that to their advantage. Bros getting worked by Draymond right now, I ain't going to lie. He just muscled his way down low, goes for the hook, misses. They back at it again with the pick and rolls. Ooh, that time ran it perfectly, pass down low, easy lay, 2-2. Two, two. It's looking like a pretty even matchup right now. Although Draymond keeps easily getting down low to the paint, the defense is definitely going to have to step up, backing him down, trying to prove that he's too little, doesn't work out for him. Passes out to Shaq. Shaq right back down low to him for the miss. Knucklehead's got a chance to take the lead right here. Q Rich for three. I was just saying he need to take them threes. 4-2. They only need one more basket. This will be the biggest upset, and it's the first game of the day. Shaq with the screen. Draymond running around a little bit. Pass down low. Shaq, that's all day. I'm very surprised that Draymond been trying to take a hold of the offense at the same time. No, not really that surprised. We seen what happened when the Warriors got KD to miss layup. They tried to end it off with a quick one. Big screen set. Shaq back down low for the dominant slam. They got to show a replay. Oh my goodness. Bro just said, get out of my way, little homie. Q Rich trying to force it. Gets the ball stripped from him. Draymond alley oop to Shaq for the easy tip in. Knuckleheads down one. They can't make no mistakes because I don't think the Draymond and Shaq is missing on the other end. He tries to back down Shaq. Horrible decision. The Knuckleheads had a chance but Draymond running around misses the close shot. Both teams selling horribly right now. Q Rich with the high socks trying to force it down low. Doesn't work out for him. Darius Miles fade away. Bucky. Ball game tied 5-5. Five to five. I doubt Draymond shooting threes. We know Shaq ain't got it in him. So they gonna have to force it down low. Misses the layup. Shaq with the board. You already know he making that. Miles trying to force it up. Ooh, runs around the screen just to get sent to another universe. Shaq now has takeover. They can't make no mistakes or else they gonna Gonna pay for him dearly. Keep trying to force it in. It's not working on him. The clock is winding down. They're gonna have to get a bucket sooner or later. Ooh, that pick and roll was random perfection, but they don't pass. Will this be the end of the game? Draymond pass to Shaq, and there it is. The Draymond and Shaq show take over the knuckleheads land. The next podcast on the attack will end up being the point forward podcast, Andre Kodala and Evan Turner. And they will end up heading northwest to take on Gilza arena. Turner and Iggy trying to run a little pick and pop. Yes, sir. It worked out. Evan Turner just doesn't pass the ball. Goes back up with the layup. Misses. Tips it back in, though. 1-0 point forward podcast up. Gilbert, bro, I thought he was going to pull from half court the way that he did that escape. That was crazy. Drives it in. Layup. Misses. McCants with the ball trying to drive down low. Doesn't work out. He passes it out to Gilbert. Gilbert with the step back. Mitty. Iguodala with the basketball. Finally taking control on his team. I was wondering why, bro, wasn't taking all the shots. He the highest overall in the squad. Misses the layup. McCann's backing it up. Pass over to Gilbert. Bro, I thought he was going to pull that. Once Gil's arena start taking threes, it's over with. The pick and pop works perfectly. Gil wide open for three. Gil's arena just needs two more points to win. Pass back over there to Icky in the corner. Doesn't take the shot. Sets the screen. Evan Turner trying to get to that basket. Makes it there. Misses the close shot. Gil's arena has a chance to finish off the game. He takes it. Wins the game. 5-1. to one. 
one in very dominant fashion. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. They did that quicker than Shaq and Draymond. They now take over the point forward podcast land. The next team on the list to attack, mind the game, JJ Redick and LeBron, and they will be heading upward to take all the land that Gil's Arena just conquered. Gil's Arena starting off with the boys, him versus JJ. I feel like Gil could take advantage of JJ all day. I ain't gonna lie. McCants with the steal, turn around, lay up in there. Of course, JJ gonna get his shots in, but it's really LeBron that they gotta worry about. He gonna be the primary ball handler, as you see, getting the easy lanes to the basket. They gonna have to figure out a way to stop that. Gil going to work on JJ. That's all day, but he misses. LeBron with the board going back out. I can feel it. He gonna go straight to the basket unless him and JJ pick and pops work out. Oh my gosh. Going straight to the basket. Fade away. Oh, misses. Gets his own board though. Goddamn. Cock back. Gil trying to shoot right back at him. Bang. Knocks down the three. Up one. Gil's arena gets another possession in off of LeBron. Miss. No. 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 Why did McCants think that he could just do that? Stop. McCants. McCants. Green, Gilbert. Gilbert Arenas is running the show right now. They take over California. The next team going on the attack is Draymond and Shaq once again. Where will they be looking to expand? They end up going northwest to take on Gil's Arena, seeing who takes over the whole west of the map, basically, besides that little place called Arizona. Gil over Shaq. Is he pulling those from deep? He got it in him. He definitely do. Doesn't take it. Backs up once again. Tries to shoot the midi. Doesn't work out for him. Back over to McCants. McCants by US 70. Fadeaways is crazy. Draymond down low, running around the screen, passes down to Shaq. Yeah, they don't got nobody to stop Diesel. That's not happening. Down 1 0 with a Gills Arena guy. McCants trying to drive on Shaq. That is not going to work. Gill going down low doesn't work out, bro. Y'all got to shoot threes like pick and pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Knock down wide open every. He's trash. Looking to go up 2-0. Draymond running around the screen. Pass. Pick and roll. Ran to perfection. 2-0. I think that they know what they need to do. Gil. Three. In there. Like, he could just turn on the switch whenever he wants to. It's crazy. Draymond ball hogging right now. He ends up passing it right back to him. Shaq is tripping, bro. If I'm him, I'm just backpacking him all day. Makes the crazy leg. 2-3. to three. McCants trying to rush it down low to the basket. Doesn't work out. Yo, Gilbert just had the greatest backdoor cut of all time and you did that almost got sat on back to gilbert step back oh corner knockdown shaq running around the screen little pick and roll pass to draymond gets blocked gilbert with the lay four three i need to figure out their game plan and get it together shaq oh my goodness doesn't take it draymond with the fade why 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 you already know gilbert looking to close he trying to drive to the basket though that ain't gonna work out for you mccants you might be able to shoot a three makes the close shot they up five four if they able to get a stop oh Ooh, they got a chance of winning. That's a big chance. Shaq definitely would just go up with that. Just go up. Yeah, yeah. That's all that. Yield three could come at any second. That's the craziest part about all this. Bro could just spark that thing and win the game immediately. Pass back to him. Knock down. No way. <laughs> Taking over basically the whole west part of the U.S. Gills Arena is on the run. Next team up on the board, we going right back to Gills Arena. And they will be heading southeast to versus the duo of Paul George and Jeff T. Now, these two was actually teammates in real life. Another three, no way. Off the bat would have been crazy. These two was actually teammates in real life. PG with the knockdown. Hold on. Gilbert might have just met his match. There's finally another team that's not afraid to take threes. Gil trying to drive on Jeff T. Misses it. Gets his own board with the easy putback. Let me find out that little team in Arizona is finna take over the whole West. It's only right at this point. Leia misses, bro. I'm expecting McCants to be the downfall of their team, but bro is actually holding his own and then Gilbert just carrying the offense. Score still 1-2. to Turn around, Jay. That was crazy. Playoff P. Easy. Close shot in there every day. Paul George backing it up. Hold on. Wait a minute, because PG is taking threes this game. Let me find out. He gonna try to end it. Doesn't try to end it but gets the easy two to go up by one only needs one more basket for his team to win McCann's going around the screen just to force up the worst shot of all time this is on rebound somehow some way the luck that's on their team is crazy because how are they getting these boards how they don't even deserve it at this point layup wide open worked his way they might as well just double team on Paul George leave Jeff T wide open at this point there is no bag at all that's coming with his dribbles like pull up knock down makes the wide open shot though five to four you already know gill ain't going out like that though thought he was gonna knock it down he does it mccance gets absolutely stripped oh my gosh paul misses 
and that's the ball game, everybody. Damn, Arizona takes over everything. Next up on the attack, we got the OGs. And they will end up heading west to go against Podcast P and Jeff T, trying to take over the whole western part of the map. I got my money on Paul George. I ain't going to lie to you. Just because Udonis has him, don't got a bag at all. We found that out in the oldest players video. Mike Miller might got it, though. We going to see after this first possession. Turn around, jump. Okay, yeah, nah. Paul George is not leaving without the dub. Hold on. Why he just knocked that thing? down so easy on him. Have to just let him know that this is easy. Jeff T with a steal. Up 2-1. Haslam has no jump shot, so I don't know what he gonna do. God damn. Last time he was down there, he got his shit sent all the way to Uganda. This time he missing, but he makes the next one. 2-2. PG might as well just start checking up threes to end the game on them boys. Force is the tough lay. 3-2. All it takes is a stop and a lay. They end up winning this, barely breaking a sweat. Udonis Haslam misses another layup. He getting every board, though. Hey, the Putbacks, whatever works, works. 3 3, tie ball game. Paul George, hezzy for the win. They now take over Florida. Only four teams left on the board. Podcast P and Jeff T basically got control of everything. All the smoke podcasts up next. And they will go west to Paul George and Jeff Tigersons. Do I think they got what it takes to take over the west? No, sir, not at all. But we're going to find out, though. Paul George already trying to attack the basket. Wide open shot. Got to make that. He misses. Jackson back out. I ain't really watched too much Steven Jackson, so I don't know what his bag got. Fade away. Doesn't have that. Gets his own board, though. Matt Barnes up there with the layup. Misses. Teague running around the screen for a little fade away. He makes that one. Ain't no way Matt Barnes going to be the primary scorer. I guess, I guess, if it works. George trying to get a bucket in. Hey, quick dunk. Doesn't take the dunk, though. How 2K just gonna knock him out of animation like that? Wait a minute. They might be on Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson's side. Pass, pass, no pass. He going all the way by himself. Jeff T just got worked by a 73 overall. T wide open midi in there. Hello. Barnes finna carry with his 73 overall. Never thought that I'd see today. Jeff T get it absolutely work, yeah. PG finna run around the screen, knock down three we all saw it coming knocks it down four two he just need one more basket and his team wins Barnes with the 70 overall still trying to cook up it's not working out for you buddy don't even take that fade I saw it coming stop don't do that stop why three to four but y'all needed a three I don't know why he would take that T finna finish it out try to get the last basket you've been getting carried this whole time you gotta put it in some type of work bro just pass the ball over Paul George fade away he misses they still got a chance they only down by what? Nah, nah, nah. He just got locked up. Okay, it's over. It's over. Half spin. Yeah, nah. Once you see the half spin, it's over with. That's game. What is Paul George finna do? Lay up over those. Misses. Gets his own rebound. Jeff T goes back up. Jeff T goes back up. Jeff T goes back up for the game winning shot. And they conquer some more land. Final three teams. KG and Paul Pierce. Jeff T and PG and the roommates. And we land on T and PG. If it goes northeast, they go to New York. Anything else. And it goes northeast. Northeast. New York it is. The roommates Josh Hart and Jalen Brunson, I think that they got a big chance. I ain't gonna lie. JB could carry Josh Hart knocking down shots. If anybody got a chance, it's them. JB off rip, missing layups. Paul George wide open for three. Oh my gosh. Two zip. Josh Hart wide open. Dunk. George running around the screen. Doesn't even have to run around. Knocks down another shot. 4-1. I thought the roommates was gonna go crazier than this. I ain't gonna lie. It's looking like they finna get 5-1. Josh Hart getting absolutely locked up. He gotta pass the thing off bro. Jalen Brunson, you need to be the main ball handler. Hart, somehow, someway makes it to the basket for the last. 4 to 2. I think the damage is done, though. Jeff Teague running to the basket. Finishes him off. Paul George does all the work, and then Jeff Teague with the finish to take over New York. Meaning it's only one more podcast to conquer. KG certified Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett versus Podcast P and Jeff Teague. In the game up to 5, I ain't gonna lie. I got Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce. Like, who is stopping Kevin Garnett, first of all? That's easy easy layups all day if they want to but then you got Paul Pierce who's way bigger than Jeff Teague but missing layups you got to get your board go right back up with that doesn't do it and they get stripped nice all right they already messing up wait a minute based off 2k AI logic is looking like Jeff Teague and Paul George might have it Teague missing wide open shots now Paul Pierce knocking it down truth out here knocking down threes let me find out Paul George wide open knockdown misses Jeff Teague with the board though layup right back to one big body uh oh uh oh that's straight weight room right there running around that y'all gotta run a pick and pop Jeff Teague would be open all the time I don't know why they don't fade away mm. 
misses. The one game where it matters, this man cannot hit a shot. That is horrible. Pick and roll. The truth with the miss. Both these teams building houses right now. It's looking horrible. Jeff T trying to force it down low and it goes in. Two, three. KG, you got to put that big brain to use. He gets stripped. Step back. Misses. Yo, Paul George is choking right now. This is crazy. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Paul Pierce trying to hit fadeaway threes is even crazier. What? Knockdown wide open. Got to make it. There we go. 4-3. They take the lead. It was looking like they was going sell out the last game but they seem to be getting back in their right mind kg driving to the basket nobody stopping that four to four will we see a paul george three to end the game like we've seen so many times before run around the screen pull up oh my missed the game winning shot wait a minute let me find out the truth got something for him hold on let me find out the truth got nothing for them that was the perfect time for a foul not gonna lie to you Ooh, size up hello going down low that's wide open every day four to five they can't mess up at all they gotta hit all their shots right now jeff teague is not the one that you want with the ball in his hands i ain't gonna lie wide open make that make that yes sir tie ball game still whoever knocks down the three wins they get the steal but don't recover the ball layup pg you might as well ball hog and knock down a couple threes at this point that's gotta be the plan lay whatever y'all do just don't let paul pierce shoot a three bro because that is going in oh my gosh this might be it right here step back doesn't get out there to the three-point line knocked it down no up by one teague up top trying to iso that's not gonna work out for you why would he even do that to himself let me find out jeff teague just cost them the whole game after paul george did all that work to get them there jeff teague oh my gosh gets the rebound don't do that don't do that don't do that oh my gosh lockdown defense need to be played paul pierce is just way bigger than him bro that's cheating he ended up missing got the board though run around the screen oh bro wide open slip oh my gosh but he missed it you got to get back on defense what are you doing no defense being played paul pierce top of the key miss KG reverse Teague, bro. Give up the basketball. Yes, sir. I know Kevin Garnett a better defender, but god damn it, he had a better chance. Or at least I thought he did. KG certified wins the entire thing. Conquering the whole map, proving that they are the best hoopers in the whole podcast game. Hey man, if you enjoyed this video, make sure leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below what else y'all want to see. Definitely didn't go the way that I expected it to go. I thought that LeBron and JJ Reddick was gonna dominate this whole thing. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Then I seen Gilbert and McKinney. Kent's going crazy. I thought Gilbert was going to carry him. Whole time I was sleeping on KG and the truth, and they ended up winning the whole thing. Y'all let me know if y'all want to see another version of this. But till next time, I'm out this thing. Peace.